Okay. These are your wicks right here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't see any reason for them to do this. I think it's kind of dumb. Colton Coward, a student at West Texas A&M, an e-cigarette user whose parents recently opened a shop anywhere e-cig just down the street from campus is upset and says the recent ban of e-cigarettes from buildings on campus is unnecessary. If you're trying to quit smoking, first off, you're just helping yourself and you're not affecting anybody around you ultimately with the vape pen. Experts have estimated e-cigarettes roughly a $1.7 billion industry. Drexel University School of Public Health reviewed more than 9,000 cases of e-cigarette usage, analyzed the vapors and the liquids used in the devices, and concluded the health risks were too low to be of concern. What is in an e-cig, like the juice that goes in the e-cig, is PG, which is what you find in like albuterol, things like that, like your breathing treatments, VG, which is like a vegetable oil type thing that holds it all together, and then you have the option to get nicotine in it. But now WT is treating them like actual cigarettes, meaning the same rules apply. Student body president Leif Nipper says it's not so much of a health concern as it is a distraction. You know, e-cigs, to my knowledge, is that they put off a scent. Uh, and so, again, interrupting uh, or pot potentially harming those around you uh, with those scents, those smells, those, uh, those fumes it's possibly putting off. Um, could be affecting other students. Nipper says the issue hasn't been brought up in Senate meetings. Therefore, he doesn't see it becoming one. But Cowart says for a group of students on campus, it is. I have heard of some positions going around, and I guess I should get a little more active with that sort of thing. 